Hey, what's good everybody? Hey, so today I'm going to talk about the time I got scammed. It was about a year ago, but I'm finally opening it up about it and I'm in a place where I'm, I can talk about it without getting mad. It took me a long time, but y'all got to be safe out here. Everybody, it's your boy DJ and welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome glad to see you hope you're doing great so like the title says I got scammed yes it was a year ago but it hurt me so deep cut me deep it's bound to happen to the, the best of us all I can say is be careful if you trust your gut, you'll be all right. But if you don't listen to it, you could be in for a heartbreak like I was. Irritates me is the fact that it's people out here, you know what I'm saying, that uh, don't really care about the, the other people, you know what I'm saying? So, and this happened like during when COVID was first kicking off, uh, people were out of jobs and stuff like that. And the fact that people can, take somebody's money without feeling no type of way about it really struck a chord but either way i'm gonna talk about it and ways that pretty much you can prevent it you know so uh let's let's talk about it so it pretty much started off with like a reseller um requesting me uh, through Instagram pretty much a, a friend request through Instagram uh, I went through that page and usually I just delete them, but I don't know it was just something about it I don't know that uh, Kept me locked in so I went through the, the shoe pages or the page looked at the shoes and I saw The pair of shoes that I've been wanting for a long time uh, since they came out uh, the Travis Scott ones and you know it should have connected with me you know what i'm saying i should have been weary about it because the price was pretty good uh it was still up there but it was it was better than what the other people were asking for but either way i i looked through the through the page uh i saw the shoes and i reached out to the guy trying to be optimistic and hoping for the best i reached out because i was overseas and i was asking about shipping he said he shipped over to overseas places and it just started from there. I just m messaged him and asked him a bunch of questions and of course he came back. Uh, these these guys are pros, man. It's like they follow, uh, they're just so good about it. They answer back like ASAP. But I asked him a bunch of questions and I felt comfortable, you know, about ordering. I guess they, I told him I was military. He was like, uh, I'm in the military. I was in the military too, and uh, thank you for your service and all this blah, 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 just making me feel comfortable, right? And so, just so many red flags. First, first off, well, let me get back. I asked about the price, and then he had like, he was like, uh, because it's your first time or whatever, I can knock off the uh, shipping because you're military, I had to knock off the shipping and give you a little discount. I was like, okay, that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm always down to save some money. The price was really good and I, I, I pretty much did like a impulse buy. The impulse buys, is, that's what gets you. But I did, a, it was an impulse buy and I, I was like, man, I don't want to miss out on these shoes. And I, I, I pulled the trigger, right? And uh, first off, I knew it was up. Something was up when he didn't do PayPal. If if they don't if they don't offer payment through PayPal or a secure type of paying, don't do it. And I knew this. I I've been in a, in a sneaky game for a long time, and it was just this time that that got me really good. Uh, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew as soon as he said he didn't do PayPal, it was through uh, Zelle or Apple Pay or something like that. Red flag. 
I should have trusted my gut, but that impulse, that that not wanting to miss out on these shoes, it got me. Maybe three days, four days later, I got a tracking number. So after I got that tracking number, I was like, man, I'm good to go. It's no way that I'm gonna get scammed. But like I said before, these guys were pros and they sent me a fake tracking number. I looked up the tracking number. It was going to another uh, another state, not the zip code that I had put in for shipping. You know, so I looked up the area code that they had. I looked up the tracking number. I looked at the state or whatever that it was going to. I was like, man, this ain't, this ain't my address. So I hit them up and I, by this time, I already I, I started to come down, but like, man, I I know something ain't right, and I'm about to get burned. So uh, I hit him up, like with a bunch of texts. I even called the number, and like asking what's up. The package I said that it was signed for, like a couple of days later, it, I kept on tracking the, the tracking, and it said it was signed for. And I was like, bro, I never got these shoes. Uh, the address ain't ain't where I told you to send them, and that's what it was. That was never heard from the guy again. I didn't get my money. I didn't get refunded. I tried to uh, go through Apple or uh, you know to try to get my money back or the bank, and they couldn't do anything for me. So I took an L. So. The main thing is y'all gotta be careful out here. Follow your gut, people. Follow your gut. Uh, if something ain't adding up, don't do it. If they ain't doing that PayPal, don't do it. If you don't know these people, don't do it. But either way, that's my story. Uh, it won't happen again. That's for sure. Cause as soon as, as soon as uh, these requests come in, I, I delete them. I don't even look at the page. Uh, I think I got blocked too. So I don't even pay attention. It, it ain't gonna happen again. So y'all be careful out there. These people don't care. Uh, protect your money. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, hit that like button and drop that bell. Hit that bell so you know when I drop the content. I appreciate y'all guys. And until the next time, peace.